Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to look at Explorer Patcher. Very cool program if you have Windows 10 or 11 that allows you to change your start menu, your taskbar, your system tray, file explorer settings, and then a few random things you can see mentioned down here, a Windows switcher, weather, blah, blah, blah. Let's uh, take a look at it. Click on any of these links right here. This will randomly pick one for you. That's the author site, and that's our mirrors. Once you do, you'll have this file right here, ep underscore setup.exe. Let's double click it. Your screen is going to change colors once you say yes to the user account control. Probably go blank. And this is kind of normal because for some reason they decided to apply the Windows 10 theme right out of the gate. Maybe just to show you what it can do. So if you're on Windows 11 and you missed the Windows 10 start menu on the left, as you can see, it is applied. It's going to take a few minutes for me. Hopefully you're faster because I'm in the VM. So it's going to take a little bit longer for this stuff to load up, but that's okay. We can move forward and show you how it works when it's done bouncing and popping stuff up. So now what you want to do is come down here anywhere in a blank area on your taskbar and right click. Normally you see just this. Now you see properties. So go ahead and click on properties and that's how we open the program. There it is. So as you can see, the default is Windows 10. And you can just go through by category. System tray. So just click it. You can see everything changes to the left. And some pretty great stuff over here. Hey, finally loaded up down here. Show seconds in the clock. Hide the control center. All sorts of stuff. File Explorer. Get rid of the Windows 11 context menu. That's where it always says show more options when you right click. So it kind of brings everything back into one. And you just kind of go through little at a time as you can see start menu. I like this one here because when you hit start, if you want to see all your apps, you've got to click all apps here. So I'm going to apply that and show you how it works right there. And just keep right on going. Windows switcher. Look at all the cool stuff you can do. Sizes, colors, how it responds. Then he threw in weather. I don't use it, so what if you do? Update frequency, size. Other stuff that doesn't fit in anywhere else. It's certainly worth a look. Disabling office hotkeys. Disabling the feedback hub. Blah, blah, blah. Updates, obviously. Check for updates. Advance. This is important. There's documentation at the developer's website, which you can always find right here. So if need be, you can go to his website and get the documentation. But you'll notice that they say specifically before you do this, make sure you understand. So some of the stuff I recognize it's safe showing the build info on your desktop, etc. Some of the stuff you just want to might maybe make sure before you play around with it. And of course, there's the about section. All right, so we've applied two things, the start menu. And we're going to go back to Windows 11. And here's one of the things of the program you really need to know. Restart File Explorer. Now, most of us know it's not too hard to do that. But you can't beat that it's sitting right here in the app. So it's not going to automatically, in other words, put my Windows 11 taskbar back here. Unless I refresh or reboot. So let's hit Restart File Explorer. And when it comes back, we should have the Windows 11 taskbar and Start menu. And we should have um, start, when I click start, go directly to all apps. So we'll just give that a minute to load everything up. There she goes. And as you can see, we're back to the Windows 11 look. And if I click start, as you can see, we're in all apps by default. Pretty neat, right? This stays right here in case you change your mind. You can come right back and uncheck stuff. There is no that I see. I don't see any current backup. It might be in here somewhere. But it might be nice to have a backup in here. And I don't see it anywhere. Oh, there it is. Hey, import settings, export settings. Good job, guys. So it's pretty well thought out, as you can see. And again, this isn't like a Win Arrow or Major Geeks Windows tweaks. It's just going to handle... A lot of the start menu file explorer system tray very cool though 
basically it addresses a lot of problems people have whether you're in 10 or 11 that you want things to work a certain way and you're having trouble finding the settings so there you have it explorer patcher keep in mind it is open source totally free the source code is available give it a try let me know what you think in the comments thanks for watching as always see you